Hey guys, Papa Rooms here. If you're picking morel mushrooms, you're gonna wanna stay tuned. Very important video here. I just found my first ever false morel mushroom. I'm gonna pick them, we'll go through them, and I'll show you what they look like. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, check out my mushroom playlist, and I have many more good playlists out there. Leave a comment and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> So I was just driving by and I thought I saw a little crown of a mushroom. Here where I am, maybe about three weeks to four weeks out from getting morel mushrooms. Doesn't mean they can't come up though, but what I did find is false morel mushrooms. And these mushrooms are not good. So what I wanted to show you is what they look like, what to look for, and what not to pick to eat. So these are them here. Try to get one from the bottom. There you go. Okay. So just a few things to look for right now, right off the bat. I'm gonna show you some videos of my morel mushrooms I found last year and you could compare them that way after this. Or you could go over and watch my morel turkey hunt video. The See the sulk eyes here, the holes, the slots? These are pushed out. They're not pushed in, they're pushed outward where a true morel, these are gonna be all like tripe honeycomb holes going in. Where these are not, these are just folds over on each other and they're not true. The other thing is the way the cap and the stem is on it. The cap and the stem is kind of curled in on the inside where it should be uh, clean all the way through and you'll be able to tell yeah boy it should attach direct right to it and then the last part is see if you look at that you're gonna be like oh wow that's not hollow but it actually believe it is so we're gonna cut that right down the middle what else slice my finger open okay and the stalk should be direct linkage all the way up through the morel just like that and those are your three those are your three signs of a true or a false morel all right so another part of this here that I want to show you is a lot of people say the true morel is hollow all the way through. When you have a hollow stem going all the way up, it's going to be fully cleaned out. See how that's all pushed in? That's another sign that it's not a true morel. So this one has a better stalk. We're going to cut it and I'll show you. Okay, so see here, oh, all that broke on that side. Let's go grab that one. See here how the tripe is not hollowed all the way through? If it was, then you would see it just like my other morel video. And I'll have that up top. You could check that out and it'll be at the end here. But also these holes here would be going all the way deep into the cap where this cap here is just smooth and it's like sulci um, folds, but it's not true tripe-like. So the, the stem is, although it's got hollow channels, it's not a full hollow through to the cap. Um, spore printing, I'll have to take a look. I'm not sure on the spore, oops, on the spore printing itself, but again here, this is a bigger one. 
you cut that in half, you're going to tell immediately that it's not hollow. Also, the way the cap attaches to the stalk or the stem, they're usually a fold right here, and this one does not have that. This is all the way solid through. These are definitely false, but I've never, um, I've never found them. I never came across them before other than just doing research. So I just wanted you guys to take a look, get some good looks at them. I mean, I wouldn't even take them to spore print them. I'm going to have to go wash my hands thoroughly here. So another tip I forgot to, that I left out with these mushrooms, uh, two things. One, I think, I, if I'm not mistaken, this one is the one that they make rocket fuel out of. Uh, I remember reading it somewhere in one of my books. Um, so that tells you the potency is extremely toxic. But the other thing is if you cook these, because I heard reports that people ate them and um people do eat them they get sick sometimes some don't but the toxic uh fumes that come off that frying pan if you inhale that that's toxic as well um but those are just reports i would never attempt trying to eat these and i don't recommend it at all but i definitely wanted you to be aware if you're going to be picking morel mushrooms um and once again, I'm not responsible if you pick the wrong mushroom. Do not use my videos as any formal training. My videos are for entertainment purposes to show you that other people are out there doing it uh, with research and going with professionals. You could do it yourself. So I'm no way liable if you pick the wrong mushroom and eat it. I don't recommend it. If you like what you saw, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Watch my other videos in the playlist, leave a comment, and leave a like. Appreciate it. And uh, we'll have more videos out to come this year. Take care, stay safe, and be healthy. That's it, these things are, look at that, tiny. And if you go right up here, five feet away, I see two more.